Lake Paw Paw was a popular resort area in Berrien County, Michigan, just west of Kalamazoo near Lake Michigan. Thousands of people from multiple states come to the resort lake, many of which come just across Lake Michigan from Chicago, Illinois. It was known as Berrien's Playground for Thousands and the Playground of Chicago, according to the News Palladium. Mishawaka, Indiana sits about 10 miles outside of the large city of South Bend, Indiana, just an hour south of Lake Paw Paw. Both cities are just a few miles south of the University of Notre Dame. Coming up Indiana State Highway 31, the prophet would have directly came through South Bend on his way to and from Lake Paw Paw. At the time the prophet said that he quote unquote stumbled onto the Pentecostals, both South Bend and Mishawaka had grown in population. Like downtown Louisville, Kentucky, or Phoenix, Arizona, the streets were filled with automobiles, towering buildings, and businessmen scurrying up and down the sidewalks to coffee shops, restaurants, and office buildings. I never pictured this when he talked about the Mishawaka trip. By the way he described his first encounter, it sounded as if he stumbled onto a backwoods revival near a lake in the middle of nowhere. But then, I also never pictured this trip as one to a thickly populated lake resort. The details that the prophet gave about his Pentecostal meeting were helpful in learning more about the revival. He described a large convention with many Pentecostal ministers and many people in the audience. I had always pictured a tent revival, but learning the landscape of Mishawaka and the surrounding area, I realized that the revival would have more likely been in one of the city's convention centers. If so, this would have made news in the local newspapers, or at least within the Pentecostal community. Pentecostalism was in decline, and such a gathering of Pentecostals would have been significant, 